Hello guys, today we're gonna diagnose and fix the four-wheel drive system in my Jeep Patriot. Here I put the ignition on and you will see that I have no problem putting the four-wheel drive mode while the car is parked. But as soon as I move the car just a little bit, the four-wheel drive light comes on. And with the scan tool I got this trouble code. So we need to figure out what's causing the problem. And since the system is electronically controlled, we need to check the fuse box. So this is the fuse box in the Patriot. And in reference to the user manual, fuse number two is for the four wheel drive system. With the test light, we need to see power in both sides of the fuse. And the fuse is good. So we need to check that we have power to the four wheel drive module. The four-wheel drive module is located behind the left corner panel of the drive side, just a little bit at the top. So to get access to it, we need to remove the corner panel. First, we remove this clip. Then we remove this trim by pulling up. Then we pull back the corner panel then put it away and the four wheel drive module is up there. To remove the connector you can use a screwdriver to push and hold the clip inward then gently pull from the wire harness. We need to have battery power to the red and white wire. Good. Then we need to check switch it power to the pink and gray wire. Here we should not have power because the ignition is not on. Good. Now ignition is on. And we should have power. Nice. Now for the ground we need to have continuity between a good ground point and the black wire. The ground is good, so we don't have any power issue. We are gonna continue with the control wires, and there is two of them. First, the yellow and violet wire, which is the solenoid control wire. Here we need to be sure that the wire is not grounded, and we have overload so we don't have a short to ground. Then we are gonna perform the same test with the yellow and black wire, which is the voltage supply wire. Overload, so this is good too. At this stage, we need to check continuity to the ECC connector, which is located in front of the transfer case. So we need to get under the car and disconnect it, starting by peeling the shield a little bit, then free it. Use a screwdriver to push the tab upward, wiggle it a little while pulling back and it should come off. You can use some WD-40 to help and use your two hands. Now we're gonna test continuity of the yellow and violet wire between the two connectors. And we have it, so this is good. Then we're gonna perform the same test again with the yellow and black wire. And we have resistance instead. So that tells me that we have an open somewhere. In this car, there is another connector that we can check to know if the open is in the wire inside the car or outside. And to gain access to it, we need to remove some plastic panels in the back. So after removing the screws for this panel, you just need to pull up. Remove this screw for this panel also. Then you just pull back. and the connector is there. I back probe the yellow and black wire as you can see and I'm going to check the continuity from there to the ECC connector. And as you can see we don't have continuity so the open is in the ECC wire harness outside the car. And after pulling out the wire from the loom I found the damage. It was just above the drive shaft. Here I cut the wire then put it back together using a heat shrink butt connector. 
Then I put back the connector. Then I redo the check. And we are good. Here I protect the wire the best I can with a shrink tube and heat resistance electrical tape. Put back the ECC connector as well as the four wheel drive connector and she's ready to be tested. Four wheel drive switch works. Good. And it's already good news because the car start moving and the light didn't come on. And guys, this is fixed. I can switch between four drive mode and front wheel drive, no problem. And we fixed it with technically zero money because you may have the tools already. And if you don't have them, you can borrow them from a friend and fix the problem yourself. So, as always, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button and consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. And I see you in the next one. And don't forget to put back everything together.